Hi everybody, I'm Larry Trexer with Sim Products and today I'm here to talk to you about Sim's new 1K sprayable seam sealers and the new 1K sprayable applicator. These seam sealers are all sign lane technology, which is the latest and greatest in technology out there today for single component seam sealers. Now what makes sign lane so great? First of all, it gives us the capability of being able to go directly to bare metal. Um, that's the big game changer when it comes to single components. The other thing is, is that it's also paintable immediately and you don't have to worry about the product gassing or causing any air bubbles or air pockets in it as it cures. These seam sealers are available in four different colors. As you can see here, they're available in the white, the gray, the beige, and the black. So one of the things that we wanted to be able to walk you through is being able to set this gun up to be able to spray this. And the good news is this is very easily done with this sprayable applicator. With the applicator, you only have two adjustments that you need to worry about. Actually three with air pressure, but we'll get to that in just a moment. The first one is a fluid control knob back here at the back of the gun. And there's also a fan control knob here at the side of the gun. Now, the first thing on this fluid control knob, adjusting it, Generally, you just want to be able to pull a full trigger. So you want to back this completely out until the point where you actually have squeezed the trigger as far as it will go. And then that is set. You don't have to do anything else after that. The rest of it is going to be done straight off of this knob on the side. And it basically from, you know, turning it all the way in to getting a very small pattern out of it to being able to just barely adjust it out to get larger fan patterns out of it and spraying sound dampening pads. So it's very easy to do. The only other thing that you'll need, and I know some people put cheater valves onto the bottom of the gun. I don't recommend doing that. What I'd rather see you do is adjust your air pressure at the wall. And what we recommend is about 45 to 55 pounds. The reason I don't recommend a, a cheater valve onto the bottom of the gun is because as soon as you start working with the, with the product and, and working with this knob, you're gonna see that fluctuation that comes up down here. So everything that you do here will start messing with the air pressure here on the, on the cheater valve. So it's just easier to do it at the wall, set it at about 55 pounds, 45 pounds, wherever you want it between those two, and then just leave it. Another thing that I wanna make sure and mention, uh, it's always a good idea before putting a new tube in a pneumatic applicator, it's always best to first put the cartridge into a manual gun and at least dislodge the piston into the back of the cartridge. And the reason that is, is when they're filling this product, um, a lot of times you get a little bit of excess seam sealer around the cartridge or the piston into the back of the cartridge. And you really need to pop that loose. If you don't pop that loose, then what will happen is when you put it in the pneumatic applicator, air can bypass the, the piston into the back and put air bubbles inside the cartridge. By simply putting it into a manual gun and just popping it loose real quick, it allows for that piston to fly, uh, slide freely so you don't get those air bubbles. We're going to do this with the gray seam sealer, by the way, is we're going to put this into the manual gun and we're going to dislodge that piston into the back of the cartridge. So we'll get this out of the way. First thing is cut off the end of the tube. Now, once you get the end of the tube off, and you may be able to see it, maybe not, but there's also a foil liner inside the tube, so you need to go ahead and puncture that as well. Place it into the manual applicator, and just like a two-part cartridge, we want to just make sure that we purge a little bit of product out, and we've dislodged the piston from the back of the cartridge. Okay, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to take and twist off the barrel from the applicator. You can see here from the back, there are no threads that are in here. So all you're gonna do is take the cartridge and just slide it down inside of the, the hole that's inside of the applicator. Slide the barrel or the cover back on top of it until it's tight and you're ready to go. Now, I've already set the air pressure at the wall at 55 pounds. So we know that that's, that's right. I've got a full trigger here on, on the gun, so we're, we're good there. The only thing that we're going to need to adjust is this side knob here on the, on the side of the gun. And as you can tell, just by simply adjusting it a little bit, there is quite a bit of difference in the air pressure. Always spray a small test pattern. So there's what you get with a little bit of air pressure. 
slightly more air pressure and just move in a little closer. Gives you a different bead. A little further out and more air pressure and you can come in and you can spray a sound dampening pad. So I hope the video helps everybody. Um, once again, these seam sealers are a great addition to the SIM line. Uh, keep in mind that you also have our technical assistance hotline that you can call at any time and be able to get answers. Uh, as you can see, you can get a lot of different textures with this 1K sprayable seam sealer. SIM is the right choice.